Okay, so my book is The Incredible Journey of Bruce and Clark. And so, yeah, um, they set off in May um, 1804. And um, President Jefferson was the one who um, decided to have, make this trip because he wanted them to go explore the West, the Northwest, and um, make peace with all the Indians there, so America. Because right then, the, um, it was all in the, uh, America was only in the east of the United States right now. And um, so he wanted to make like a bigger land area making peace. Um, so he chose Meriwether Lewis, um, who was his personal secretary. And Mary and Meriwether Lewis was then 28. Um, um, he chose Lewis to choose all the people who were going to join him on this journey. And he chose William Clark, who was one of his good friends when he was in the military. Um, and he chose Clark because Clark was good at um, making maps, and he, yeah, and he was um, a very brave soldier and strong. I will elbow like you if you don't so back off and go back to your they desk. made, um, when they set off, um, uh, which was May 1804, um, they made peace with many tribes, and um, the way those tribes would uh, um, agree, they would eat this special mush, one of their, their leaders, their chiefs would cook, and yeah, and um, many of you guys know Sacagawea, who's known, yeah. um, she was a wife to um, a French trader that they met on the way, and the French trader decided that he wanted to join the journey as an interpreter, so she had, and her um, baby, who was named Jean Baptiste, and um, his nickname was Pomp for everybody else. Um, she joined the journey and she was interpreting from all the others. And actually she came from the Chinook tribe, I'm pretty sure, and she was a slave and then the French um, trader married her. Um, uh, so yeah, they um, made peace with a lot of tribes. But um, they were, they in the end, they failed to find a water route, which was one of the things they were supposed to do. But they made peace with many tribes and they Succeeded as great scientists and heroic pathfinders. So nowadays, people, a lot of people, travel the Lewis and Clark Trail. Um, after their travel, Lewis committed suicide three years later because he, um, I don't think um, he was um, Thomas Jefferson's secretary anymore, and um, he did just felt like he, I don't even know why, but he was just um, didn't have any money and he almost went bankrupt and. Um, William Clark was a high general, and he had a family with five kids, and yeah. Okay, so I'm going to read a little portion of my book here. Okay. Two months went by, and not one Indian in sight. The men had hoped to find the native people where they reached the junction of the Pallet and Missouri Rivers. Shepherds had told them that Ottawa, Missouri tribes were there. As soon as the boats reached the Pallet, Lewis sent interpreters to George Dillard and Pierre Cruzet to bring back Indians. They returned two days later, no Indians. They had found Indian villages, but they were deserted. Five days later, while hunting, D Drill Lord came upon an Indian Missouri tribe who agreed to come back in the boats with him. The Indians spoke of smallpox and epidemic, which killed most of the people in his village. Those who survived moved with their friends, the Ottos. He explained that this time of the year where most of the Indians were away in the plans Using Dillard as a sign language interpreter, Lewis asked Missouri tribesmen to invite Otto to the Missouri chiefs to a powwow. The men returned two days later with about a dozen men, six of them minor chiefs. And that explains how they saw, met their first Indian tribe, and they would have the powwow where uh, Lewis would talk to all the Indian tribes and um, explain what Thomas Jefferson had.
word what? Well, no, well, it's... Do you have a question? Yeah, um, so, Lewis failed? Did they fail? I mean, no, they made pieces many Indians, so they did well, but they failed um, to find a water route, which is one of the things. I knew it.